Hello, welcome back to the channel guys. We are going to do a new FIFA career mode and we're going to start off with Norwich City. Um, the reason I picked them is obviously they went down, they were plum last in the league and they don't have, as you can see on the screen, they got 23 million transfer budget. So they had one of the lowest transfer budgets. They, I think, don't quote me on this, I think it's one of the lowest, it's definitely one of the lowest, it might not be the, the, the lowest. Uh, club worth in the Premier League um, and the team's just it's a very championship looking team uh, there's a, some youth in there it's very promising youth but it just feels like it is going to be a difficult task to drag that team you know, just to stay in the league this season to be honest and then to try and build on that with not much transfer budget so it's going to be interesting uh, stick along for the ride. I'd love your opinions on transfers, formations, and all that jazz. But let's get into uh, having a look at how we've set the season up and, and how we look to go forward. So we'll start off by looking at the team. The issue with this team is there is a lot of good young talent, but it's future talent. There's not a lot of like quality here and now. The back two, we're going to start with Godfrey and Zimmerman. We've got Hanley and closer I think it is but they're, they're the best two left back and right back pick themselves uh, a good left back up left back with Byram uh, but again if you look across his back line 21, 21 19, a lot of youth Zimmerman's the, the old man at 26 at the back and then across the middle we're going to go with Cantwell McLean, Rupp and Buda I have no idea how you say his name Right, so I've actually just noticed a issue with the team, which I've changed. As you can see, the middle two have changed. Uh, Rupp's gone over to the left-hand side, McLean's come out, and Tribal's come in. Now, the, the, the point of this is, Tribal is going to sit there and then drop in between the back two, and we'll have kind of a back three. So he's going to be like the rock of the midfield, if you will. And then Rupp is going to attack with the wingers and the wing-backs, along with the top two, to create a, a force to be reckoned with. And then you kind of look at the top two, Duda and Pookie, uh, there's no one really challenges them. So what we're going to do is, the plan is to get to look for a new centre-back, uh, possibly to, I'm not sure whether they'll play alongside Zimmerman or Godfrey, but Godfrey, but obviously having that option there is going to be better, but it will be, a starter will be someone better than them too. Uh, the next will be to get a winger. I want a nice speedy winger. We want to be fast down the wings. As you can see currently, 874, um, 82 on the right, 79, and then Campwell 73. So I want to get a new winger, nice speedy winger. And then Campwell can just kind of rotate in and out. He'll just have to get better over time. Um, but yeah, I think that the addition of that would make a huge difference. And maybe even another striker. This formation, this is not a set formation. I'm going to try different formations over pre-season to see which work and which don't. Um, so there is going to be changes. We're going to see what works. But yeah, if you have any ideas on different positions, different players I should sign. Uh, I think the main one is a decent centre-back and a speedy winger. Obviously, the transfer budget isn't huge. We've got 26 million. Um, so that's why I'm not really going at all out to just say, like, I'm going to find three or four really good players. We want two. I want to try and find four of that. Obviously, we can move it up and down a little bit. But for, for under 30 million, I need a decent a starting centre pack and a pacey winger. So it, we haven't got massive funds, but that's what we're working with. So onto the youth setup. This I know we've got a young team, but we need to look forward to the future. So this is something I, I'm going to have to do, uh, and this is going to cost like 3.6 million. But we could we could sell some players yet to to get some of this money back. But yeah, we're going to get the best scout out there, and we're going to start off by just um, I tell you what, we'll, we'll go to we'll go to the Netherlands because that seems ripe with talent at the moment. Um, we'll just do six months for now. I know we'll just stick to the UK at first for the first scout. We'll, we'll go abroad. So just to go over kind of what we're planning on doing with uh, outgoings. As I said, most of the under-21s, probably under-20s, under uh, under-18s, under 
that there's quite a lot under 60. They're all going, they've all been long listed. Hopefully going to get rid of them. So I've decided to list Tim Closer for um, on the transfer list. It was between him and Grant Hanley. He is worth more than Grant Hanley. The idea of getting a new centre-back in, he's not going to be needed. So he's on the transfer list. So as you can see, we have quite a few central midfielders uh, around the low 70 mark. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with them all. I might dip them in and out through pre-season, see which, who works where. Um, but yeah, I, I will have to get rid of some of them, I think. Uh, there's still Rupp and Steeperman not on this list. Um, and then we got TT at the top and Tribal, who, you know, they're going to they're gonna have to we're gonna have to stretch the playing time out, find what works. We'll see. I think last but not least is what the club want us to do. Um, so within two seasons, have at least one youth academy player uh, sign in the first season and play at least 50% of games I'm not sure about that. Uh, within three seasons, increase the season ticket. I'm pretty sure that'll happen. Nothing for Continental, obviously. Maybe one day. Domestic, avoid relegation. Obviously, that is the task at hand and to reach the round 32 of the FA Cup. And financial, within three seasons, increase the club worth of... The club worth of your club. By 50%. I think we can do that. So it's I think that's pretty much achievable, especially that the youth one I'm not quite sure, but you know we'll see what happens. So I think I'm pretty much shown everything now. Uh, gonna jump through a couple of the preseason games, uh, test a couple of things out, and start scouting. Get a get a list together and see where we can go from there. So the first game um, of the preseason, I'm gonna start with the team that I'm kind of thinking of at the moment and, and just see how it goes, see if the formation works. If not, we'll change things around. Let's get into it. 22 minutes in. Tim Krull's first bit of action there. Oh, wow. Wow. That is poor. I thought... I, I wasn't even sending in anything. I thought we'd dealt with that. This just doesn't seem any anywhere for him to go. Oh, he's beat him. Yes, this is it. There's no one in there, though. Oh, Pookie! Yes! Let's get out to this side. Looking for an over out for Marins, but he's not getting it. There he is. Pookie! Oh! Get rid of it. That is a shocking clearance from Tim Cool. Oh, wow. So we're making a couple of half-time changes here. Campwell's going to go to the right-hand side. We're going to bring Hernandez on the left for Budina, uh, just because of his speed. And we're going to bring Steeperman on for Duda, because I haven't seen him do an awful lot. But let's just see what happens. Get rid of it. Can we win it in the midfield? Yes, we can. Steeperman. Hernandez, can he play it quick enough? Oh, he's offside. He's not offside. I thought he was offside. Oh. Oh, Rupp. Oh, this is great. Great effort from Rupp. And he's charging in on goal now. Can he finish it? 2 1. Oh. Corner. First corner under Norwich. Great header. It's in. It's in. Is that Irons? Godfrey. Well done. So all that from Rupp. Great interception charging down the field. We got a corner, and uh, Godfrey puts it in. Two one. There we go. Three one victory for Norwich. Uh, Starting off a bit shaky. Couple of little dodgy. Um, Pieces of defended felt really weak down the down the wings, um, even against this team, which I could tell the difference in quality from a Premier League team. I think we're going to struggle down the wings. Uh, going forward, though, at times we look really good. So as we look to start the second preseason game, now we're going to do 
we're going to make a couple of changes. Hernando's coming in on the left for Cantwell, uh, purely speed. Uh, Steeperman's getting the start because he did quite well. Um, and we're going to put Byron on at left back because he did all right. And then Hamlet's coming in for Zimmerman and just trying look little different bits of stuff out. But we're very here a lot. Rupp gets a ball, runs forward. This is what we wanted him there for. Plays the ball through Pukki, and that is exactly what Rupp needs to do. Pick the ball up in the middle of the field, find uh, Pukki, and puts it in away. So they are approaching here, and we've seen more over the place. It won't let me pick the right player. And they are in on goal. Great effort from Godfrey to clear up the mess. There we go. Handley wins it back, loses it, wins it back. Hernandez now. Got to use his speed to get down this left-hand side. He's got a foot race with this defender. He's got to use his strength. Use your strength, man. Plays it in. Oh, what? How has Tribal not done better with that? Oh, and he's done us here. He's done us here. Oh, he's been beating the air again. I think that's Grant Hanley this time, and the heading in the box is poor. It's so poor. Another goal from the wing. We've conceded two goals in these friendlies, and both of them have come from the wing now. I mean, the issue is we've got some really good young talent at, at, at fullbacks, but I just do not think they're ready right now. Be it again, and it's just going to take a cross in that box, and I will not have any faith that. The centre defenders will win that header. He's wide open. Why is he so wide open? Easy, Cantwell. Oh, make that run. Oh, pick up the pieces. There we go. McLean. 2-1. McLean from outside the box. Oh! There we go, oh, 2-1 to Norwich, that's six points. Two wins, two games, two games, two wins. So this third game, I think we're making a, f a few more little tweaks. Uh, we've gone for McGovern in goal, just give him a chance. Um, Tite uh, is coming midfield. Leitner, I think that's how you say his name, Leitner. He's also coming in the centre. Uh, Hernandez is going on right. Uh, Drimic is up front and a couple of youngsters on the bench. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That <laughs> was mighty close, I think, to being a red. Great. Ball winning ability there and Hernandez here now. Down this right hand side. Yes, this has got to be it. 1-0. Yes, great ball from Hernandez. And TT just smashes it home. And this, I don't, I really don't know whether it's been the uh, the midfield purring, the midfield purring in this game, but we have looked weak in the middle of the park. We have not won the ball in the places. I want to win the ball. And wow, how have they not scored? Did he save that? What a save. What a save. Steeperman. Clayton on the edge of the box looking for looking for a way in. Oh, Hernandez just went for it. 1-0. I mean, it could have been worse. I mean, they sh should have, could have won that, to be fair. I don't think we were, um, we were poor, to be, to be honest. Very poor. So we have made it through to the semi-final of the preseason. Um, you've seen a couple of the games, a couple of the goals, and how we've kind of rotated the team. Um, I am fully, fully, 100% think that we need a new centre back now. Well, that is the main goal. A speedy winger is secondary to that, but we'll see the next episode. I'm hoping to come back and have. Uh, some news on that. Um, maybe a new player. We will have sold some people. I guarantee that. Um, yeah, so let's see. Come back in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button.